All right, what's up everybody? This is Josh with Wild Game Weekends. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a little bit of deer meat. Uh, the other day Mitchell did some, but uh, I do mine just a tad bit different. Uh, still gonna be doing it on the grill, but we're gonna be doing. Uh, I don't really know what you call it because I just grab every seasoning in the drawer and use it. But uh, you'll need a couple things to uh, get started. First off, you'll need a grill, obviously. Uh, then you obviously need some deer meat. And then right here we've got our trash bag. And then we got our, our glass tray right here. And then what makes it good is the Dell's seasoning. You always want to use the, the all meat fish, fowl, and vegetables, and all that other kind of stuff. There's a bunch of different kinds, but that one's the best. Uh, so I'm gonna try to take you step by step. Uh, I'm filming this by myself, so I don't know how it's gonna work. But uh, I'm gonna go step by step on how I like to cook deer and uh, how my ways are. So let's get started. All right, right here, we got the steak. Just. open it up and I let this thaw about about almost two hours but a little bit of silver skin here we're just gonna cut that off and I highly advise using scissors because it works so much better um but just cut cut this nasty excess stuff off that nobody eats I don't know why processors don't do a better job with this. We'll just All right, just throw this in the pan. Take this and put it in the trash bag. Here's a big steak. We might make two or three steaks out of this. Now this one's just one big steak. So we're gonna make a make a make three steaks out of this. I didn't have a lot of steaks. So I didn't want to cook a bunch. Uh, you can hear it's starting to rain. But uh. Would do this inside, but my parents would kill me, so just ten to one should all be good and clean if you have a good processor. Um, your meat don't smell that great. Not cooked. What I might do, we have so much tenderloin, is if we go in there, make some biscuits, have some tenderloin biscuits out of Alright, now, 
I got everything in here. I'm gonna show you what I do, what to do with this Dell sauce. All right, got this Dell seasoning here. And what I do is just, just pour it all over the top. Try to get all the meat that you can. And then just, just enough to fill the bottom, the bottom of the tray. Once you get it poured, you can let it sit for 15 to 30, 45 minutes. Normally, I like to leave it for about 30 on each side, but uh, there's some pretty nasty weather coming in here soon, so I'm going to try to get this done quick. So I'm just going to let it soak for about 15 minutes on each side. And uh, once it's done, I'll come back and show you the, the seasonings I'm going to use and how it'll work. All right, back. Uh, it's been a couple hours. The meat's been soaking, and uh, we're about to uh, season these puppies up and get them on the grill. We've got the grill going already, and uh, I sucked them a little bit longer than I planned, but the weather calmed down a little bit. So uh, let's uh, let's season these things. All right. We've got a couple seasons here. Uh, first, I'm gonna start with the seasoned salt. Uh, just take it and just go across. Season it up. Put that aside and then I'll take this steak and pork chop seasoning, just random Walmart seasoning. Dump it all over the place. Make sure to get, get it good. And I'll take Tony Sachery's original Creole seasoning. Do the same thing with it. I use a lot of seasoning. And then I take some, uh, really some barbecue seasoning. It's more for barbecue, but it works on this too, just a little bit. Just dump a little bit of this on here. And then finally, just a little bit of garlic powder. And uh, dump a little bit of garlic powder on it. Once I got these seasoned, I'll just turn them over and do the same thing on the other side. So, I'll go ahead and get that done and get them. All right, here we are. Finally putting all this on the grill. Um, had the grill lit. And wind blew the flames out, so I had to restart it. But, we're going to get all this put on here. Hopefully have some good deer, deer meat here in a minute. We'll show you, show you what it's like afterwards. All right, so we got them on. Uh, we got steaks here, tenderloin here. Uh, this this part of the grill don't work, so we threw the rest of the tenderloin over here. But uh. Got it on the grill. I'm gonna let it cook on each side for a few minutes. Come out here and flip it. And see how it goes. All right, tender one's done. Uh, a couple pieces are a little, a little almost too done, but you know we like them. We like them pretty almost burn around here. And steak's got just a few more minutes. Probably another two or three minutes, and those will be good. We got some biscuits going. Inside, gonna have some tenderloin biscuits and uh, there's a cow out down there. Maybe cut him up and put him on here. No, I'm just kidding. But appreciate you guys watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, keep up with uh, the wild, wild game weekends crew. We got a couple good videos coming up we got part two of mitchell's mitchell and blake's uh european mount and uh be sure to keep up with the the burial method for the other deer so uh appreciate you guys watching and uh see you guys next time